Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, in this MKBHD video for the Locker Gnome YouTube channel and Chris.Perilla.com, we'll be taking a look at GIMP. And GIMP is a free alternative to Photoshop. It'll work on both Mac OS X, Linux, and Windows, so it's multi-platform. And it is a very powerful piece of software. I happen to do all the graphics design and work on my channel in GIMP rather than Photoshop. So you can see that GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program, and it is nothing short of that. So what I'll go ahead and do is just go ahead and open up an image here so you can see that it does work the way it should. We have a video, not a video, just a little thumbnail that we can import, and you can see the image opens and looks exactly how it would if I had opened it in Photoshop. On the left-hand side, we have a toolbox full of tools, and on the right-hand side, you can see all your layers and things like that. You can make layers visible and invisible your different brushes and uh, you can actually use custom brushes the same way you can in Photoshop. So all this stuff is very very powerful. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is just something very simple like maybe you just want to use GIMP for making thumbnails or quick images that you want to show in your videos. You can go ahead and drag out a text box, write some text here, if I could spell it, and go ahead and you know change the font or whatever. We can highlight this, change the font, make it bigger, of course, there are plenty of things you can do with this that you can do in Photoshop. Up here are a bunch more tools and things like that. Of course, if you use Photoshop on one computer and don't have it on another, you'd be very familiar with GIMP if you installed it on a less powerful machine, as it will work pretty well there. So you can see all these different things. We can move layers around, merge down layers, combine all these things, uh, change colors, invert, and you can see there are a lot of websites out there, as a matter of fact, that will let you do some awesome things with GIMP like use custom brushes and stamp things onto your photo. So say you download a custom bird, you know, a little bird looking uh, stamp, you can just stamp a couple birds on your image, whatever you want to do. That happens to be what I did with my logo. So GIMP is a very powerful piece of freeware actually. It's not paid software like Photoshop is, so this is a very valuable alternative for those of you with a less powerful machine or who don't want to pay for Photoshop. And if you are looking to buy Photoshop later, well, this is definitely something that's a good thing to get you into it, and they'll get you started. So this has been MKBHD with a quick video about GIMP, which is the GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's available for Mac OS X, for Windows, and for Linux, and it is free. So in this next video, talk to you guys next week. Peace.